What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Civilization 5 AI only old world battle. We're getting nearly close to the end. There's a few wars going on around the world, keeping it interesting. There's nothing sort of major, it's mostly the larger civs picking off their little neighbours. We've got the Kulin going after Polynesia, and at the moment they're about to take Tonga, as we can see we've got China and Qing, which is turning into a bit of a stalemate, which sucks. Parthia were going after Arabia, but it looks like they may have fallen back a little bit, which again, sucks. And uh, Songhai are also going after the Garamantes, and I think they're going to have some more success, and we might actually see them grab a city any second now, if we just head over here to have a look at what's going on in North Africa. Yep, here we go. Songhai, are they going to do it this turn? Probably not. I don't think they've got enough. But next turn, they should get pretty close. I mean, they don't have any artillery or planes. Just going to let them down a bit. But yeah, next turn, they will take Garama, the Garamantes capital, and... There'll be one Garamanti city left for them to go after. And then maybe, finally, they might go after Mali. I've not got a thing against Mali, I promise. But it would be nice to see the Songhai clear them up for their own sake. Because, you know, Rhodesia are here, building up, looking pretty strong. It's going to be a tough time for the Songhai to make it to the end if Rhodesia decide to go after them. They might not. And then it would be a great time for them. But if not, it, it, it's not going to be great. Uh, but yeah, China's trying... They push Qing back a little bit, I think. It, maybe not. Maybe Qing is still on their way. Maybe I'm misinterpreting that. Um, new research agreements. Okay, Korea. Do you really need all those research agreements? Seriously. Mongolia is moving a lot of its stuff over to North America, which that we'll see. Maybe they're going to go and drive out the Khazar, Sicily, and Garamantes some point soon. But it does mean they're quite open to an attack. I mean, the problem is... Korea's not strong enough. Qing and China are fighting each other. India and Vietnam are still just a bit too far away to be able to do anything. And again, Parthia, very similar. But yeah, Parthia put all this, had all this stuff here. They could just go slaughtering through. But again, they've got a peace treaty. They're going to have to wait a while. And again, Poland don't really have enough. Just, just going to fall short a little bit of doing anything there. But let's just quickly flick in. Let's see. I don't think... Oh, no, they're going to try again. Okay. They, I don't know why they fell back and then... They wasted some time, but whatever. Whatever, you can do what you want. Oh, quick, ready? Let's see, have we missed it? No, we haven't missed it. Good, excellent. I didn't want to miss this. I was super, super excited to see this. Definitely. Um, Come on, Congo. Congo? Kulin. Close enough. Began with a K. Um, and Congo did pop up in the notification there on the right. But, um, yeah, no. Kulin. Are you going to take this, though? That is That is the real question. The, um, I'm asking. Doesn't look like it though. Well, this is this is sad. Come on. Did what? How many? There are so many sieves in this game. It takes so long now to process turns. It's ridiculous. But here we go. Yep, there we go. Finally, about time. That leaves Polynesia with two cities. One in the northernmost part of South America, and obviously one in Hawaii or Honolulu in the city but there we go maybe now another bit of border tension between the Kulin and Kimberley maybe we will see them go to war with each other maybe it's about time and China's actually going to go quite early so we'll watch them first see if they do anything are you going to do anything China are you going to just let me down you're not you're not doing a good job of carrying the banner for freedom here I'm just going to be honest it's one of the only freedom nations in the entire world you're not really carrying the banner very high. You've actually let Qing get their units closer again. Um, this could be a bit of a mess. Korea, why don't you join in? You can actually do well this time. With that artillery, you might actually do a job on them. Oh, and yep, there we go. So we missed it, but <laughs> the Songhai have captured the Garamantes capital, which leaves one Garamantes city left. No units to defend it. Should be a cakewalk now for the Songhai. Also have units sort of in Marrakesh that might be able to help as well. So they push towards it, and this gives them access to some new targets. I mean, namely Sicily, and I guess Portugal as well you could consider, but still the obvious option would now go towards being Mali next, um, and then probably take Carthage and try push into Europe maybe. But again, it would be difficult to go over the sea to get Palermo or Naples. I better have said it right that time. I better have said it right. Palermo. I'm pretty sure that's how you want me to say it. 
So there you go, I did it for you. Um, okay, so Poland, I think Parthia might be next. It's just a guess. Um, oh, sorry. That's annoying. I got a new phone. I don't know how to turn vibrate off just yet. That's um, that's that's not good. Um, okay. So are they going? Oh, Parthia's going now. No, they're taking their time and they're not really using their planes. So we'll see. It's going to take them a little while probably before they actually take the city just yet. But um, yeah. Let me just see. Is that? How do I? Okay, never mind. But um. No, I don't want it to vibrate. Stop. Um, okay. It, it's going to keep doing that, apparently. How do... What? No, stop. Um, someone... No, okay, we already knew they'd lost their capital. I apologise. This is very, very unprofessional. But, um... I have no idea how to, uh... Get it any lower. Yep, it doesn't want to go off. Okay, well... It will have to hopefully not go off again. That's that's what we'll go with. We'll, we'll go with that. Um, let's see. Who has gone for a new ideology? Kimberly has gone for order. So, um... Wait, what are the Qlin? Let's see. Will this finally trigger a war between these two? I doubt it. Um, what am I doing? What am I even looking for? I'm looking for this button. It's going to go all very slow. Yes, it is. Order. So the Qlin, yep, yeah, order. So that may just make it a little bit less likely they're going to go after each other. China and Switzerland, the only freedom countries in the whole world. That's pretty impressive. Garamantes and Mali, peaced out. Kimberly and the Garamantes peacing out. So, yeah, I mean, they are still... They're still going, the Garamantes. They're in North America, sadly. For some reason, some call it a hunch, but it uh, doesn't seem like they're going to be around much longer. Up here, doesn't seem like anyone is going to be around much longer, except Mongolia, in this region, because this is the biggest army I think, probably in the game right now, um, that anyone's got. Look at Mongolia's score up there, and I think that is Rhodesia and Vietnam. Oh no, India, India and Rhodesia, I imagine, are those civs. This is only score; it's not the most important thing to judge. But let's just have a quick look at military manpower. I know it's a big one. Rhodesia, almost twice as many soldiers as Mongolia. Mongolia only just ahead of Parthia. Vietnam then down here and India making up the top five. That's pretty interesting. Let's go and look at production. Mongolia dominating that category by so much. That doesn't seem right. Like Mongolia should not have six times almost. Um, no, three times, sorry. What is in third, not six. Um... Rhodesia putting out the highest science output, and they are two technologies ahead of Vietnam, who are two ahead of Mongolia, who are three ahead of India. Parthia are down there, two cities. Mongolia have 37. Rhodesia have 16. Okay. Wow. 37 cities. That is ridiculous. By any means. Just insane numbers there. Okay, so Parthia seem to be confused and I hope they don't do what they did with Babylon. I hope they actually get on with this sooner rather than later. The Songhai are already starting which is good to see. China yet to begin the siege of the city and they actually did let Qing's units get here. Like there was a chance where they could have taken this without Qing getting a single unit back. But nope, China's failed at that one. We'll see if Korea joins in. That would be very helpful for them. And is anyone going after Honolulu? Because there are a lot of people at war with Polynesia. I mean... Yep, it looks like the Qlin are going, which means Polynesia will probably by the end of this video be eliminated. No, not eliminated, because they're still here. I keep forgetting, they are still here. Indonesia and Portugal are both over here too. Kimberley versus Mali, and Vietnam v Mali. Who knows why that is a war, but it is. That is the most random war probably so far from both parts, Kimberley and Vietnam. But yeah, Indonesia and Portugal seem to be in a rush to settle wherever they want to settle. Bit of a race. I don't see any Mongolian settlers. They have regular infantry now. Just good to know. Um, just just letting you know. Um, the Songhai have settled a city down here towards sort of Chile. I don't know, somewhere. Somewhere along the west coast. Rhodesia have a lot of units out here too. No wonder they are the biggest army in the world. They just have a navy chilling over here. Most civs would would be pretty 
pretty desperate to get their hands on a navy like this. But, you know, Rhodesia just have it sailing around the Pacific. I mean, it's nothing compared to what they have sort of got left in reserve. Although there's a lot of Galeuses, I mean, which is kind of scary because obviously they have massive numbers. If they upgraded all of those, those numbers would go even higher. So um, it's just good to know <laughs> that they could could be going even stronger. I mean, the Songhai are probably pretty lucky there that they have these frigates because if not, they would be maybe more likely to be a target. India, are you going to do anything? Are you going to do anything? Are you going to do anything? Come on. It looks like they're actually moving stuff gradually this way, but I don't really think they're doing anything. They've got open borders with Vietnam, so everything seems pretty pretty chill in this region. These guys are all seem pretty happy. I think I would worry for China. If they lose too much, they might get attacked by Vietnam. But again, open borders. Maybe they're friends. Ah. India has a lot of stuff. It is just currently sat in Vietnam. That is... That is weird. Um, but there you go. I didn't notice this, but yeah, there you go. India have a lot of mili their military in Vietnam for some reason. Why, of all places, hey, for a random country to stick their military, just park it in Vietnam. No, I don't remember that ever happening before. And, you know, definitely, no, that, that's never happened. That's just a unique, unique circumstance. Um... Oh my goodness, China, seriously? I thought you were going to do something. But no. And Parthia seems to have given up too. I mean, I don't know what happened with all their planes. The case of the missing planes from last episode. But um, they still have five here that they're just not bothering with. So are you seriously not going to bother with them? It would be cool to see you use them. You know, and take some cities, because that's the whole point of the game. Nope. Okay, never mind. Okay, Songhai are making a push. It's about time. Ching, are you going to do anything? Just going to surprise me and attack Mongolia with this archaeologist infested city here. Just, um, the thing is, Mongolia probably have far more archaeologists than anybody else. They just spread out <laughs> quite far, so they get let off the hook. Korea have a settler heading off the northern tip of Japan, which is good for them, I guess. <laughs> it's not really good for anybody else, but um, wow, China built up a really big navy in a very short amount of time. Problem is, it's not really helping. But I think they're about to start colonizing, just skipping the bit where they send the settlers or the colonists to where they are colonizing. I think they're just going to go for the sort of brute force colonizing here. That, that seems Kulin. This could be a bad time for you. Belgium just entered the modern era. Good job. Poland is still trying to attack Belgium. I mean, at least there's not so many units just stood here anymore. I mean, they're all dead now, but Belgium still here. Slowly. They're 31 turns away from making it to the end of the game. That is... That's, it's, a, it's a real, you know, it's a real real good what's the word? It's just a real feel-good story, that. that they're going to make it. I mean, not as good as Greece making it to the end. That would be special, because Greece still have pikemen. They still have a warrior with the tiniest sliver of health. But they're going to make it. I know it. I believe in them. How are you doing? Okay, so the Kulin are arriving, which is not a good sign for Polynesia at all. Um, definitely... Close to the end. The Songhai are going to take a little bit longer because of these mountains. And that's about it. The disease, the uh, typhoid disease from Warsaw, has currently found its way into central Anatolia and is inside the Ottoman city of Arges. That is definitely pronounced incorrectly. The Khazar now have open borders through Parthia and Parthia. She's moving just some of their units up north a little bit. Maybe. Go fight Mongolia. I highly doubt that, but um, maybe. Maybe they're going after Denmark. That wouldn't... I mean, just take this city. Why not? Ease up on the border gore for me. Um, another city from the Khazar here. The northernmost city so far in Canada. But their fourth coastal city, so... You might see the Khazars start to slowly get a presence up in um the Atlantic. But probably not. The production here is probably not great. Jeez, okay. Do you really need this? 
Do you really need this over here? I mean, it's halfway around the world from where you might need it if Parthia really tried to do something crazy. Which I wouldn't put past them. Good to see you still still clinging on Congo up here, butchering. Good to see the Amazon rainforest being chopped down too. Good job Zulu. Good job Congo. You're already on the way. You don't even know what's coming for you. Global warming's coming. Indonesia has completely skipped the New World and is heading towards Europe um, on their current sort of path. I don't know where they're going. <laughs> no, no, maybe they're just heading round. So Portugal, both seem to be heading down the coast to find somewhere. North America is still pretty free. Like, there's a lot out here. I mean, it's in the mountains, but, like, the west of the USA and Canada is still pretty empty. Northern Mexico is still completely empty. And big chunks here, sort of, in between the Andes and all the cities. There's kind, of, kind of chunks. There's a lot of space. They should find something. Britain, I have no idea who they're going after, but they're about to attack somebody. That somebody might be Mercuria down here. I get the feeling. Unless it's Polynesia. Uh, and there's also a Japanese settler heading towards New Zealand. That's an... How? No, wait. No, I think it's heading away from New Zealand. My bad. Obviously, they no longer have Japan. Very sad. But um, that's how it's going. Kulin are on their way. Slowly. The turns are so long. Oh, my goodness. Um... Okay, it's 1950, so that's cool. Belgium. Oh, look, a third sieve going through them. And maybe that's Belgium being smart and thinking maybe Switzerland will be our friend if we uh, go through them. And they join Switzerland and China on that path. But at the same time, probably not the best idea because none of the rest of the world is following freedom. Maybe they would have been better off just going with order like most of the world. Going autocracy didn't seem like a good move before. I mean, four of the largest sieves have gone autocracy, but it's not really gone well for them so far. I think we might even be close to seeing some revolutions. Okay, so there's that vote. That seems a bit stupid, but, um, you know, they can propose what they want. I ain't stopping them. Um, autocracy, yeah. Qing, Parthia, India, Poland. Not like They're not the worst sieves in the world. To be fair, only Poland is having the revolutionary wave. The rest of them have got massive overall happinesses, particularly Qing and India, so it doesn't really matter to them. Switzerland are on 83 happiness. That is that is insane. To be fair, the order civs aren't doing that great. They are having civil resistance, dissidents, but yeah, Poland is having the biggest problem. The Ottomans have gone order. That might help. Just another civ, just to boost, maybe pull some of those civil resistance civs a bit closer to getting out of that problem. Oh, well, at least, you know, the Sicilies are doing their bit. They're helping their fellow Europeans, their fellow Mediterranean buddy in Greece by trading with them, which is very nice. Poland are doing the same too. You know, Greece, they're not having a good time, clearly. They just want this to end. They just want the next 29 turns to fly by. But uh, Mongolia have just entered the atomic era. Genghis, a little bit behind some of his neighbours. Obviously, we know Rhodesia and Vietnam both have Manhattan projects under their up their sleeve, sorry, not under their sleeve, up their sleeve, although to be fair, Vietnam don't have any planes, like, they don't have any oil, I feel like they must have uranium, considering their size, I mean, Mongolia probably have a lot of everything, so they don't have to worry about that, Rhodesia do have planes, but whether they have uranium is another question, they've got bombers, they've got a carrier there with a bomber on it too, I mean, they don't have too many planes, but yeah, they've got stuff. Parthia obviously as well have planes. That is it in terms of who has planes. Parthia's only got great war bombers though. Actually, I'd say it though. Rhodesia are the only people with the World War II sort of era planes. The next level. Everyone else is still on the World War I level planes. How are you doing, Songhai? You're slowly getting there. China, yep, you failed. I think that's safe to say now. China are not going to be taking anything again from Qing. Parthia seem to have given up. I think they're interested in doing something else. They just gave up interest because they could have done it really easily, to be honest. I think they could have had a lot of success here, but they just seem to be no longer interested. I mean, you never know. They might get a peace deal that gives them, like, Medina because they're so big, and that wouldn't be the worst idea. But yeah, we'll see what happens to them. That seems to be the end of that one, and that's all our conflicts, basically. 
fizzling out. I mean, we've just got to wait for the song high. And we're also going to be watching the Q-Lin here seemingly sail past the target of this war. That is great. It's also a Mongolia. It doesn't look good. Where is China going with this? I don't know. Oh, Japan has a settler in... Oh, good job, Japan. I didn't notice this, but they have another settler in South America. Portugal just also settled in South America. I'm liking South America. It is being colonized heavily. That's very cool. It's good to see. Indonesia yet to choose a spot, and they're probably going to go here, but Portugal probably beat them, and now they're more confused than they already were. Don't see any other settlers, though. Just yet. Japan will be pretty soon, I think. Um, and that's about it, really. It's just it's a very quiet time. Uh, but furs were banned, and arts funding has passed. There you go. It's going to be a world that's going to shy away from the war that has ravaged it in the last few turns and <laughs> move to art the arts instead. A new, a new focus for the people of this world to um go down. Let's see, Poland. Don't know why, I just picked you, see what you were up to, but um, you're not doing very much. Actually, you've got artillery here, good job. I mean, great warrant for tree. you're not having the worst game in the world. I'll let you off on that one. The Ottomans, you're doing a good job of not spreading this disease to anybody else. I'm impressed. Like, you normally, you know, the disease spreads everywhere, but you are, you're keeping it under control, which is impressive. I mean, we might see that end now. But, you know, the, I mean, the world thanks them for that because they're not spreading typhoid everywhere. Yep, Parthia has officially given up. And it looks like the Songhai aren't having as much luck as maybe I thought they would. Rhodesia, are you building up for anything? Not really. You did also send a lot of stuff halfway around the world, as Mongolia has done in recent times. Which means basically right now, the only war that I expect to see anything happen in in the near future is maybe this, maybe the Kulin will take Honolulu as their boats start to pull in. But actually it's the Songhai's turn now, so we may as well go have a look, see how this goes for them. How's it gonna go? Um, slowly is the answer to that. Oh, they're trying again. Problem is they can't, it's not coastal this city, so they couldn't use their boats. And even if they wanted to use their boats, Portugal don't seem to be up for giving them open borders. No idea why that would be. I thought Portugal would be more than willing to give them open borders, but apparently, apparently not. Um, just not going to happen. Yep, nothing's going on here. Okay, so we're, we're once again at a quiet period. I think if it stays sort of... I think I might go over a few turns in the break, just off camera, if nothing is going on, just off video. Just because the turns do take a long time, we get through about seven a video now. And, you know, there's a lot of, like in times like this especially, when there's nothing to even spectate. It can be kind of, kind of, I don't know. I just think it would be better to sort of skip through it. We get through this series quicker, the videos are more entertaining. And we obviously get onto new series quicker as well. And obviously we get the results I know you all want. And I can obviously do the bit that takes ages where I just put the game on single player, skip turns, and it just keeps going through until we get to turn 500 to show you what happens. I imagine that is going to take forever. That would be like a whole day of my life gone. Luckily, luckily there's only a week and a bit left of school to get through. And then I will have some days off get that done before Christmas hopefully. Um, there's also been some suggestions of a Christmas special so if you have any suggestions for sort of a one-off sort of thing that I can do in a game maybe let me know down below in the comments. I've already had a suggestion to play Earth 2014 as North Korea but um, any other other options maybe I, I just had an idea in my head but um Obviously, I don't know if it's possible or not, but I'll have a look into it. But anyway, we'll figure something out. Because, um, yeah, I don't want to just put out a regular video on Christmas. Like, I've been doing the daily uploads, so I don't really want to break the streak. But at the same time, it's Christmas. So I want if I'm going to do something, it's going to be a special video for Christmas. 
But yeah, that that that's that's a way away. We should not be thinking about Christmas just yet. Well, you, some people do. I don't, but because my birthday is coming up, still a little way away. But in between, like it's right in the middle of December, so hopefully. So yeah, I just tend to not think about Christmas as much. But anyway, um, Japan's about to settle here, and they got another settler. There is a huge Chinese navy in the middle of nowhere. Just you know, just <laughs> as you do. But anyway, that's it for this video. As always, if you have enjoyed, it'd be awesome if you could leave a like and a comment down below, and be sure to subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.